What is Wrestlemania? It's my retribution. It's my legacy. It's my birthright. It's my final battle. It's my kingdom. It's the showcase of immortals. Where legends clash. Where dead men reign. Where curses will be fulfilled. Where judgment will be cast. Where champions are crowned. Where messiahs are worshipped. Where stories are finished. This is the grandest stage of all. The show to end all shows. Where thousands from all over the globe gather to bear witness to greatness. GCW. It's my company, my house, my industry. You do not get to just kick the door down and just snatch it all away from me. You disgraced me at the Rumble, abandoning me when I needed you most. You're nothing without me, you hear me? Nothing! Did you really think this was about the boy? He was the bait. At WrestleMania, I'll take everything from you and finish what I started long ago. I'll kill you first, you hear me? I stopped your head in before to escape you. And I'll do it again to end. What is WrestleMania? Strap in and see for yourself. Because no one else in my bloodline will. The champ has ducked me, and the chief has tried to snuff me out. But neither of you are man enough to keep me down. I am the best professional wrestler in the fucking world. This right here proves it. And neither of you can ever have it. Indeed, how crazy to think it has been 11 years of GCW WrestleMania. GCW ring. That's right. We have all been anticipating this matchup for years. Ever since The Undertaker was buried by Jeff Hardy, we've been praying to God above that this man would return to the ring and bring in Jeff Hardy's comeuppance. Yeah, you just have to think about all the despicable actions from Jeff Hardy 
over all these years of Undertaker being gone. And here come the GCW Tag Champions. An absolute scourge on this business that is pro wrestling. The Antichrist and the Rated R Superstar are about to make their presence known here at the grandest stage of them all. And yes, this unholy alliance formed exactly a year ago at GCW WrestleMania 10, where Jeff Hardy, yes, he did not only bury The Undertaker, he also buried his own brother in Matt Hardy. Except evil. And look at that. Oh my god. Hit his knees on the way down as well. As you can see, Jeff Hardy tried to put his hands up to block the impact, but you can only do so much when your face is getting grinded onto steel. Oh, oh no! Oh my god. When in doubt, pull out old reliable, huh, Jeff? Seems so as there comes Kane. Oh, a huge flapjack by Edge. And now Kane is down as well. Now look at this. Oh, there's no way Jack Hardy was going to pull off that move. The Undertaker knew better. He is the veteran of this matchup when you compare the two. And now, speaking of veteran, oh, he's trying to go a little bit of that old school leg drop, but Edge saw it coming as soon as Jeff Hardy ducked out of the way. But what is Jeff thinking? Oh! Innovative offense there by the Antichrist. Taker's down, and Jeff Hardy is still hanging onto the cage, while Edge is pulling out the first weapon in this matchup, being a table. Yeah, I wonder what he's planning with that, but he's also getting ring steps here. Things are about to get gnarly here, as Jeff Hardy is trying to soften up the dead man for whatever Edge is planning on doing here. Oh. Looking to use those steps as leverage for this wicked spear through the table. If he hits this, it's only a matter of time before Undertaker's comeback is cut short. But it's oh, God. God! My God! Head first through the table goes Edge! Oh my God, this, this looks bad. This looks bad for Judgment Day. Well, you're damn right, he is busted wide open and now Kane has the Antichrist scrawny little neck in his grasp, but he tries to weasel out of it as he usually does. Yeah, but I think there's nowhere to go. As far as I'm concerned, Jeff Hardy is now in a handicapped hell, as, hell in a cell match, excuse me. I'm just so excited to see what happens next. 
I'm so excited what? to see Jeff Hardy finally get what's coming to him. Where are you going? There's nowhere to run. It's a freaking hell in a cell, Jeff. In case you forgot, this is the Undertaker's yard. It is. <laughs> what's his plan here? I don't know. He's going to try to hang there all night? Yeah, that's not going to work. And Undertaker knows it too, checking the time. He's got all night long, baby. Whenever Jeff is ready to get this ass whooping, I'm all for it. Oh, he's slipping. Yeah, yeah. He's slipping. Just let go, Jeff. Just let go. Oh. <laughs> yes, sir. Right onto the laps of the Brothers of Destruction. Look, and that look. Like, oh, wait a minute. With a double spear onto both brothers. Oh, I thought that was it for sure. It seems like Jeff Hardy wasn't that much of a dumbass after all. Maybe he was just distracting the brothers so that Edge could lay down that kill shot. But oh, look, there's Kane on the top rope. Look at Kane. Oh, oh, oh. into the spear. Oh, oh. The Undertaker saves the match. My God, Judgment Day came close. That was a definite close call as that big boot lays out Jeff Hardy. And now, oh my god, that flipping clothesline onto the edge. Oh. And now Taker's a one-man army. He can't stop what's already dead. Indeed. There comes Kane. Oh, double DDT by Kane. Both these men pulling out all the stops. Double last ride. Yes. In stereo. Come on, let me see it. Oh, oh my god. Jeff Hardy slammed on top of Edge's sternum. You love to see it here at WrestleMania. This is incredible. And now Kane taking Edge to the outside. Cactus clothesline, and it could be over for the yes. Antichrist. Oh, Wait a minute. Oh. What a counter by Jeff. Oh. Twist of hate. Inverted. It may not have been as effective as the regular one. Oh. But I was about to say, it might have just been enough. But thank God. Taker kicked out. Yeah. Great counter there by Jeff as he's now looking to go for the regular twist of hate. Going for another oh. twist of hate. Oh! Countered with the choke slam. Undertaker still got fight. And the crowd here are rallying behind the dead man. Yeah, so is everyone around here. But now there comes and Edge. Spear Taker dodges. Oh. oh, but Edge reverses. Edge with his own version of the snake eyes on the Taker. The innovator of it. No, oh. Oh. Twist of hate. No. Twist of hate the Taker. Oh. oh, Kane from the top. Who says devils can't fly? Dead was such innovating offense by the Judgment Day, but Kane is going after them now. Oh! Huge side slam to Jeff Hardy. This match has gone back and forth so far, but something's got to give, especially when you're surrounded by solid oh. steel. Look at the strength of Kane. Oh, oh my no. God! Gorilla press! Oh. Jesus H. Christ! Just throws Edge out of the ring against the cage wall as if it were nothing like he was just taking out the trash which you know might not be completely oh untrue. no as jeff hardy proves just that when he hits a oh, oh god did you hear the sound of that solid steel chair colliding with the skull of jeff hardy and he just instantly collapsed there Dead. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's how this all started all those years ago. Jeff Hardy turned on Taker and the entire GCW faithful when he hit Taker with that chair. Yeah, at GCW WrestleMania 8, the night Jeff Hardy turned to the dark side three years ago. Now Hardy coming to his senses, realizing what's going to happen here. Taker looming over him like a damn Grim Reaper as he tries to hit one last low blow. To oh! The Nets, but Taker! This is it! Jeff Hardy into the gates of hell! How great would it be for Jeff to tap out to Taker? Trying to choke the life out of the Antichrist! 
Yes, come on, tap! And it doesn't even matter if Jeff Hardy gets oh, the Oh, no! Ball. And Edge knew that damn well! Yeah, he did. As he plants his foot onto the face of Taker, relishing in the hatred of this crowd, they wanted to see Jeff Hardy get what's coming to him, all right. And now Taker's back up! Snake eyes! You know the game! Oh! Oh! Edge dodges! Let's go for a spear! Oh. Wow! A leap! Yes! Counter by Tombstone! Taker. Taker has Edge right where he wants him! Yes! Stone pile driver! This is it! What? Oh god! Swanton bomb from Jeff Hardy! Breaks up the count and saves their title reign! If only for a few more minutes! Oh my god! I definitely did not want to see that! But oh! Now Jeff Hardy, he wants to end this the way it started! Yeah. Oh god! Come on now, come on, not this way! Don't tell me this will end like this! This Judgment Day thing has just been a horror story here. That's right, damn right he does! And here comes Kane trying to save his brother, but no. he suffers the same fate! Solid steel to the dome! Oh my god, and now Taker's just oozing blood out from his cranium! Yeah. And now Jeff Hardy nodding in approval, but approval for what? What is what on earth are these two thinking? Taker hasn't even moved since that chair shot! Yeah, and they came here with a game plan once again. And this Judgment Day thing, this Jeff Hardy dark side thing, never seems to come to a happy ending. It's, oh no. This is ridiculous. I, I, I can't imagine what these two are having in mind for the Brothers of Destruction here. In our very first match of the night. Ed's now dragging the lifeless carcass of Undertaker up to his feet as Hardy reaches the peak of that ladder. Yeah, and you know what they're planning. Oh God, no, wait a second. This is starting to look a very familiar. I can't go through this again. Yeah, no. I just simply can't. Kane is down and out. If he hits this, we are definitely never gonna see Taker again. Twist of hate from the top onto the steel step. Oh, what? Wait a minute. Counter. Counter. Oh. Oh. No and way! Taker, he has Hardy! Oh my god! Yes! Here are your winners and new GCW Tag Team Champions for the Brothers of Destruction, Kane and the Undertaker! Justice! Exist. There is a God, and the Antichrist is no more thanks to the Brothers of Absolute Destruction. A three-year reign of terror from Jeff Hardy has come to an end by The Undertaker.